a professor at Oklahoma State University, is furthering his work in aerospace engineering and robotics by studying bees. News on 6's Jordan Tidwell shows us how lessons from bees can help with computers and drones. There's a lot to learn from bees. Within, you know, 10 wing strokes, they've corrected. At Oklahoma State, Associate Professor Imran Farouk and his students are studying bees to help with robotics and drones. He says they can learn by the way insects process information. Because when we look at something that ha literally has 10 milligrams of computational material or n 10 milligrams of neural material, that's the kind of thing that we can translate to a single board computer to the types of vehicles, uh, you know, the small UAVs that we're starting to fly in engineering in the engineering world. They study the bees through this contraption. They can move around the opening and the bees fly into the hive. Then they take photos and videos to use and study. Professor Farouk says they look at things like social interactions between bees as they fly and how bees move their wings. And when we look at these group and swarm behaviors, if you take one insect out, if you take one robot out, you still have more or less the same behavior. He says in a way, they are helping bees too. As bee populations decrease, their studies may come in handy. If, if we do reach a point where we need to almost retrain our honeybees, uh, having a really good scientific basis for that kind of thing uh, will put us in a much better situation. The lab not only studies about the bees' wings and flight patterns, but they learn from them about working together too. And it's, you know, it's really taking curiosity and making it useful. In Stillwater, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.